Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Glam and Geeky Mum blog. Uh, this is my first attempt at a how-to video. Please bear with me if it's a little bit rough around the edges. Also, please bear with me if I can't pronounce things properly because I've got braces on and uh, it makes it quite hard to uh, talk properly sometimes. So um, this is the second part of my blog series all about finding low entry competitions. If you've not re yet read the first part of the blog, uh, first part of, in the series, then please do go check that out. Uh, you can find that on my blog. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. And that's all about how to master search engines. So the long term aim of this series is to teach you how to use TweetDeck uh, and how to find low entry competitions on Twitter. Some of these competitions will be Twitter competitions, you'll be, but you can also use it to find Facebook and um, web entry competitions and Instagram competitions as well, because they're quite often advertised on Twitter. So uh, this part of the series is all about Twitter lists. Um, we're going to learn how to use Twitter lists uh, to find competitions, basically how to set up your own Twitter lists, how to subscribe to other people's Twitter lists. Uh, and also some other useful tips about Twitter lists and how you can use them to help your account on Twitter. Um, I have also written a blog post to accompany this video. Uh, so if you don't like watching videos, you can read the blog post instead. The, um, the blog post has uh, snapshots of the Twitter app, whereas uh, the video covers the desktop site. So you can see the difference with where things are located on the two. So the main reason I find lists so useful is that it can be cleverly filtered in TweetDeck. Um, if you have a list of companies that run giveaways, you can filter the list by the word win. And TweetDeck will then show you all of the tweets and all the accounts that you've added that actually have competitions in them. So it's a really quick and easy way to find low entry competitions. So uh, I'm talking a lot. Let's actually show you how to do some stuff. So first of all, we're going to look up set up Twitter list. So I've set up accounts specifically to show you what it looks like when you first start adding lists for the purpose of this video. If you want to follow my actual day-to-day -day Twitter account, then um, I actually, uh, that I actually use for my blog and for entering all my competitions. So let's go ahead and set up our first Twitter list. So um, the simplest thing to do is to click on your little icon up here. This will be your uh, profile picture. When you click on this, it gives you some options and you are going to click on list. Now, if you've not set up any lists at all, then this is what it will look like. So uh, you'll have uh, one section here that says subscribe to and one section that says member of. They're both empty because we don't have any lists and no one's adding us to any of their lists yet. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start off by setting up a um, list dedicated to holidays. Who doesn't want to win a holiday? So what we're going to do is... Uh, find some companies that basically provide flights, hotels, um, and most of these companies will run holiday uh, holiday competitions from time to time. So all we've got to do is think of a couple of travel companies and add them to our list. So what we are going to do is create a new list. So over here it says create new list, click on it. And here we're going to have our list name, we're going to call this holidays. Now, you don't have to put a description in, it is optional, but uh, we're going to put um, a great list of holiday companies. Um, now, here you can switch your privacy, so we can either decide this list to be public, so anyone can subscribe to this list and follow it, see what we're doing. Any companies that we add to this list will also get a, or any accounts that we add, will also get a notification uh, saying that, that they've been added to this list. You've got the option of making it private. If you make a list private, no one else can see your list. People or accounts that you add to your list don't know that you've added them. Um, I t for my holidays list, I actually have it public. So let's leave it as public, save the list. Now it'll take you to this screen here. And uh, here you can search for a username, first or last name, name of business brand. Uh, you can also add people from your following page or anyone's profile page. Um, what I tend to do, I don't tend to add mine directly from here, although you could. Uh, what I tend to do is I go straight into my search Twitter bar up here. So we are going to, there we go, we're going to add Virgin Atlantic. So click on the company. It doesn't have to be Virgin Atlantic. It could be anyone. Click on that. And you'll see here you've got like their normal Twitter page. So we're going to add them to our 
our holiday list. We're going to click here and we're going to go down. So click on the three little dots, go down to add or remove from lists, simply tick holidays. And that's it done. That's now been added to our lists. If you want to go ahead and view your list now, go back to here. So click back on your icon, click back on your list. And you'll now see we now have a list. So if we click here, we can see this is our list. So um, and what the list does, there's one member, which is Virgin Atlantic. So that's the only people we've we've added. It's going to show you anyone that you add to your holiday list. It's going to show you their their tweets here. So you show them there and anyone who subscribed to it will show here. Um, you can list members. And that just gives you a long, this will give you a long list. At the moment, it's not very long. It will give you a long list of anyone that you've added. And you can click list subscribers. And that will show you that anyone that's actually following or has saved your list on their Twitter so they can view your list, basically. Uh, so that's it. It's really simple to make a list. And you could just go ahead and think of another couple of companies. So um, off the top of my head, Expedia. You want to add the Expedia UK. Again, just click here and go to add or remove from lists, tick, that's done. Uh, we could go to Ice Lolly, they sometimes have holiday competitions. Again, click here, add or remove from lists, tick. Okay, so we can now go to, back to our list here. And you now see we've got three members and when we click on it, it now has the tweets from all three of the members or accounts that we've added. Again, if you want to see those accounts separately, you can view them here and that's pretty much it. So it's really simple. Um, if you're just on Twitter normally, so you're not on TweetDeck, then um, you can basically have a look through and see who you've added um, and just scroll through and see if competitions pop up using TweetDeck is so much faster because you can filter by keywords and the keyword we want to filter by is win um, and it will just show you any accounts that you've added to this list it will just show you all of the tweets that contain the word win which makes it really quick for finding competitions uh, I'm going to show that in my next um, my next video and blog post that I do about uh, actually using TweetDeck uh, but you need to know how to use the uh, how to make lists first it is quite a long process trying to find all the companies. What you can do is sometimes other people have lists already set up. So uh, we're going to show you how to do that now. So let's subscribe to someone else's list. What we're going to do is we are going to find Top Compa Die Coke or Super Lucky Die. The handle is on Twitter. Thank you, Die, for agreeing to allow me to use your list in this video example. So this is Super Lucky Die Coke's uh, page. If you don't really follow her, please do. Uh, she is a great compa. She's got loads of tips. Her blog's amazing. Please do go check it out. Um, if you click on lists here, this will bring up all of Die's public lists. So uh, what we're interested in, let's uh, kid. Uh, what we're interested in is Die's got a great kids list. So we're going to click on that, and this shows you basically all of her list here. But what you can do is you can click subscribe. And I'm now a subscriber to this list. So when I now go to uh, my list on here, so it now shows you your uh, the list that we've made up, so the holiday list, but it also shows you um, Dye's list that we subscribe to. So we can easily click on that and again see all of the companies here. Again, you can scroll through yourself to and see if there's any competitions that um, pop up. Uh, or you can put this into TweetDeck again. I'll be showing you that in my next uh, video and blog post uh, to filter it even even more quickly. Uh, but that's it. It's a really simple way to add add more uh, lists without having to do it yourself. Uh, and there's loads of other lists that you can make yourself. Uh, you can have uh, you can have a list for sporting events. So when Wimbledon was running, um, I made a list of all of the um, all of the promoters as they were more likely to be running competition Wimbledon related competitions um, so I'm just going to show you if you this is me so if you click on me so this is me uh, if you don't follow me already please do but you can see my lists here so click on lists 
and you can click on Wimbledon here. So again, this is just all the people who are helping promote Wimbledon. Um, you can, again, you can view list members, you can view list subscribers. Uh, I used to just have a quick flick through that every morning and see if they were doing any competitions that day. Um, now you'll also see on uh, mine that there's an influencing accounts that I have, and um, this is basically for not for non comping, so anything related to not comping. So it's quite important um, to know that on Twitter, if all you do is retweet or add the same copy and paste comment, your account will probably end up getting marked as spam. Even if it doesn't get marked up as spam, um, on simple retweet to win competitions, you're actually probably less likely to win because um, retweet to win competitions aren't actually fair. Um, Again, if you read through my blog post related to this video, you, uh, there's links to find out more about why that is. Um, but to make your account stand out and be less likely marked by spam by Twitter, um, then you need to be doing things other than just retweeting competition posts all the time. So what I do is every day I have a little session where I send out my own personal tweets, but I also interact with um, Twitter accounts that tweet about things that I actually have an interest in. Uh, so I've got BuzzFeed, uh, technology accounts, um, but a lot of gaming, retro gaming accounts, science accounts. So, um, and I, I'd go through and I like to use a combination of liking, retweeting, quoting and adding my own text, as well as actually starting conversations with people. And that's going to stop your account from getting marked as spam. Um, I also like to do that because I actually like to use Twitter to talk to people and uh, see what other people are up to, especially in the gaming community and the tech and community and things like that. Um, so before I actually started doing this, I really didn't win that much on Twitter. And I've noticed a massive difference in the number of times I've won on Twitter since I've started using my account for more than just comping and actually using my account like you should do normally. Um, so that's it. I hope I've covered a lot of useful information for you. You might still be thinking this doesn't feel that important in the grand scheme of things. As I said, next in our series, we're actually going to be getting into Tweet Deck, and I'll be showing you how you can use these Twitter lists that you've made, as well as um, the search engine blog posts that I did. You can use those to really find loads of great low entry competitions quite easily. If you have any further questions or you feel there's something I've missed, then please do comment below on my video. Uh, and if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to make sure you get notifications anytime I upload a new video. Thanks, bye!